Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this started. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Kasdor from Apex. Uh, I am really delighted to see all of you here since it's the last session of the day, and Heather tells me we're competing with beer. So <laughs> it's like, man, I was afraid nobody would show up. We've got a decent crowd here. This is great. So anyway, this is Standards Crossing Boundaries, uh, how intersecting standards and cross-sector collaborations are creating an interoperable publishing ecosystem. The thing says, and interoperable publishing ecosystem. I saw that typo three times, and it was removed three times as this was being developed, and here it is anyway. I don't know how, how that keeps crapping back in. Anyway, this will be, an, uh, I think, a really interesting session. We've got three speakers. I'm one of them. First speaker is Evan Owens, who many of you may know, probably know. Uh, Evan, uh, well, Evan's been in SSP and scholarly publishing for uh, a long, long time. I won't, I won't embarrass him by saying how long that time is. Um, but I'll read what he gave, gave us uh, to, to say about him. Evan joined, is uh, from Sen is VP of Publishing Technology of Senveo Publisher Services. Evan joined Senveo in December 2014 as VP Publishing Technologies. He's been working in academic publishing for 30 years. Oh, he told you how long that was. Uh, the University of Chicago Press, Portico and JSTOR, and AIP Publishing. He has been active in information standards, ISO 12083, DTD. That's, anybody here remember ISO 12083 DTD? There are a, few, a couple anyway, me included. NLM DTD and JATS. Digital Preservation, Primus and Jove, and in industry organizations and initiatives including Crossref, NISO, and Chorus. He's been a frequent speaker at events in the publishing and library communities since the 1990s, including AAP, AAUP, CESSE, CNI, DLF, NARA, NDIIP, NISO, SSP, and STM. <laughs> Sorry for all the acronyms. Um, Evan is going to be talking about uh, the publishing, the scholarly publishing standards ecosystem, basically, and how that has evolved over time, and why that is actually, you'll be pleased to hear, so far in advance of the technical ecosystems for almost every other sector of publishing. Uh, I work across a lot of different sectors, and I can tell you most people in other publishing sectors haven't got a clue how far ahead the scholarly publishing world is compared to what they're doing. In fact, I uh, programmed a track for, for SSP and IDPF at IDPF's recent meeting, and I recruited uh, Kent Anderson to do a talk, a plenary talk, on, and this is at BEA, so it's a book-oriented crowd and a trade-oriented crowd and not particularly a scholarly crowd, uh, and a talk about what um, problems have been solved in the scholarly, or are being solved in the scholarly publishing uh, arena that other publishing sectors are just now starting to think about, and it, it literally blew people away. They, they, they haven't even heard about the DOI, for example. It's, it's pathetic. So anyway, uh, Evan's going to be talking about that whole evolution and how we've gotten to where we are. Uh, I'm going to be talking about a, kind of a, the broader ecosystem of the kind of broader publishing and, commu and communications uh, landscape overall and how there's a very, very uh, strong trend toward convergence of those standards across a lot of different sectors. And then uh, the third speaker will be uh, Robin Seaman from Benetech, and she's going to be specifically talking about uh, an area that is uh, extremely important. Uh, I've got Robin's bio here. Where is Robin's bio? I can recite it for you. Okay. If necessary. She's last. She's last. She'll forget anyway by the time she gets up here. So. I had it in my hands. That is so weird. I said that about the last page of my presentation, which is missing. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, but I've actually known Robin for many years, and uh, she's done she and her organization is a complex organization that does all kinds of cool things. Uh, she also has chaired the um, accessibility working group in the content structure committee of the book industry study group, a, a group that I, uh, I chair the content structure committee. Um, 
doing really, really important work in t trying to help uh, publishing industry really get a grasp on this issue of accessibility. And I think you'll be very pleased to hear how close you might be to being able to really address the issue of accessibility that people tend to uh, kind of push off and think, maybe, I know I need to deal with that, but maybe I can wait and deal with it later. You need to be dealing with it now. But there's a lot of help there, and Robin's organization is a key, is a key uh, resource in that. So I'll turn it over to Evan at this point. Okay. Evan Owen.